The Guadalupe County population has grown over 30% in the last decade. That's according to census data. So more people there means a greater need for first responders. It's why Guadalupe County launched its first full-time year-round fire rescue team. Archimelia Juarez shows the county's investment to protect more people living in the Seguin and New Braunfels areas. Over the last few years, volunteer fire departments in Guadalupe County were responding to 300 to 400 calls a year. Now they're responding to nearly 700 calls. So there's a lot of growth coming from the larger city areas out into the rural areas. There's a lot of neighborhoods being developed. Guadalupe County commissioners approved the budget for 10 full-time firefighters and another 10 part-timers. The chief of Guadalupe Fire Rescue, Heath Lipke, says each will rotate to provide 24-7 coverage along the Highway 46 corridor between Seguin and New Braunfels. Within this next year, uh, we really want to develop our staff um, on a professional level, as well as hopefully create more positions within our department and provide the citizens with the care that they deserve. The fire department plans to focus on their district and help surrounding volunteer fire departments. This is the Guadalupe Fire Rescue's temporary fire station. They chose this location because of its access to I-10 and Highway 46. Next, the county plans to open three fire stations around the county. The county will also use funds from the American Rescue Plan to purchase new equipment and new fire trucks. Our next truck should be here by this summer. Camelia Juarez, Quesa 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching Quesa.